Amen. Praise the Lord, New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm so grateful and thankful for the privilege of being able to pray with you and pray for you each and every day. And I'm honored that you join along with the New Horizons Church family. So thank you so much for joining us. I believe that God has a blessing today with your name on it. What belongs to you from God, it belongs to you. God has already prepared every spiritual blessing that you and I will ever need. He says it's in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. The way we access it is by asking God to give us what we need. Give us our daily bread. And God is no shorter than his word. He will supply every one of our needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So these bountiful blessings that are available, God says that the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous makes much, makes much available. So thank you for joining in with us, your faith, joining in with our faith. One can put a thousand to flight. Two can put 10,000 to flight. We can just do better when we come together. So we're going to be praying today, day number 17 from 2 Samuel chapter 6 and verse 11. 2 Samuel chapter 6 and verse 11 from the New Living Translation of the Word of God. Here's what it says. The ark of the Lord remained there in Obed-Edom's house for three months. And the Lord blessed Obed-Edom and his entire household. Amen. The ark of the Lord remained there in Obed-Edom's house for three months. And the Lord blessed Obed-Edom and his entire household. You know, the ark of the Lord was the presence of God. And this man, Obed-Edom, had the ark of the Lord delivered to his house. It ended up there. They were trying to get it to the temple. But they made some mistakes in terms of how they were carrying the presence of God. And so Obed-Edom had the ark in his house, and when it was there for three months, the Bible says the Lord blessed his house and his entire household. And so today we want to pray and thank God for, number one, his presence being in our homes. You know, Jesus is Emmanuel. He is God with us. He said in Revelation that he stands at the door and knocks, and he that opens up, he will come into him, and we would sup with him, and he would sup with us. So we want to thank God just for his presence in our homes. And then we want to ask God to bless us and our entire household, everybody that is connected to us or comes in contact with us. That's how strong and rich and powerful the blessings of God are in the lives of his people. Come on, let's go to God in faith, in prayer today. <clears throat> oh, Lord, our Lord, Lord, how excellent is your name in all of the earth. Lord, you are great and you are greatly to be praised from the rising of the sun and to the going down of the same God in every place and at all times your name is worthy to be praised thank you Jesus that your name is above every name and at the name of Jesus we declare that every knee is going to bow and every tongue is going to confess God that you are Lord there is no other God like you there is no other God before you there is no other God beside you you rule and reign, and your rule and reign is righteous. And so we just give you praise, honor, and glory for being our God, for being a glorious God, a wonderful God. And God, we ask now that you would forgive us of our sins when we've not done what you've asked us to do. Purify us of all unrighteousness when we've gone in the wrong direction and did things you told us not to do. We accept and receive the blood of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of our sins. We thank you, Lord, also for the filling of the Holy Spirit in our life. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Heavenly Dove. Fill each and every one of us, God. We want to be controlled by you. We want to be led by you. We want to experience your presence operating in our life. Lord, thank you for being Emmanuel, God, God with us. Lord, we thank you for your presence that is evident in our life. We thank you that as Obed-Edom had the ark of the Lord in his house, Lord, we have you in our homes, through our hearts, and through our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. And Lord God, it is our sincere prayer today that you would bless our houses, you would bless our homes, and you would bless our families and everything connected to our household. Lord, we pray that you would pour a blessing upon us that we would not have room enough to receive. God, I pray you would anoint us and bless us from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet. I pray your blessing would be so strong upon us, Lord, that everyone that comes in contact with us would also be blessed. Bless those that bless us, Lord. Bless those that support 
us in ministry, that support us in the things of God, that support us in what we're trying to do in this life, God. I pray that there would be an anointing so strong and a blessing so strong in our lives, God, that even as we connect with and conversate with other people in the community, Lord, they would experience the blessing of the Lord and the favor of the Lord upon their households as well. God, we love you and we honor you and we thank you for the bountiful blessings that you supply in our life. Thank you that your presence is real, that we know that you are the true and the living God. Thank you, Lord, that we can experience you through the power and the person of your Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Heavenly Dove. Let us experience you. We give you more and more of our mind, our will, and our emotions that you may be able to lead us and guide us into the bountiful blessings that have been provided and prepared for us. Lord, we thank you for the privilege of prayer. We thank you for the power in prayer. We thank you for the potential of prayer. And we thank you for you, God, being involved in every area of our life. We give you all praise, glory, and honor. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Again, today was day number 17, and we prayed from 2 Samuel chapter 11 and verse, uh, excuse me, 2 Samuel chapter 6, verse 11, from the New Living Translation of the Word of God. It says, the ark of the Lord remained there in Obed-Edom's house for three months, and the Lord blessed Obed-Edom and his entire household. God's presence is with you, and God has a bountiful blessing in store for you and your household. I pray you would walk in it, give God the glory for it, testify to others about it, and watch God do some amazing things. I'll be back tomorrow to pray with you and pray for you. If you would be so kind as to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button, and then share the channel with one of your neighbors and friends and tell New Horizons Church is praying each and every day for them to receive the bountiful blessings of God. I'll be back tomorrow to pray with you and to pray for you. Be victorious. God bless.